Hey guys, welcome to English Commentary, done by Diggity, and honestly, I'm a little bit bitter about this one, because uh, this is going to be Yankee League. This is going to be between Rise, OD, in uh, part of Overdosed, not Overdrived, in the upper left-hand corner in purple. In the bottom right-hand corner, we have Star Life uh, in blue, representing Team Light. So this is Yankee League, it's going to be Light versus OD, uh, Overdosed. So, uh, yes, you can go to overdose.net. nice guys. Anyway, I'm a little bit pissed, because uh, I... I had this all done. I, I had all the audio and everything, I uh, had all the video, and then my computer rendered problems. Basically what happened was is my hard drive filled up uh, with some other stuff I was doing, specifically the media uh, reps.ru set, I think, no, strategy.pl set, and as a result I ended up uh, in the aftermath. Well, sorry, my hard drive filled up completely, and in the aftermath I ended up losing a lot of my live video, and this was included in it, which pisses me off because I had a lot of good commentaries in there. Uh, specifically, I thought this set was really fun to do. I really enjoy doing these live Yan Yankee League uh, commentaries. By the way, you can see these live. Computer skipping a little bit here. Uh, you can see these live if you end up going to uh, bwusa.org. You can go check out, uh, yeah, where the live casting is done. Uh, I think we'll, and if you feel like flooding the channel, feel free to, I guess. Uh, I don't think Xerus or anyone else has any real issue with that. But if you go to, uh, I think I'm in Yankee 1 or Yankee 2, I'll be in one of them. Uh, but I've been, I've been generally following Overdosed around, and they have some fun matches. And, you, and generally, these are really fun matches to do. Uh, so special apologies for them for my computer screwing up, and I'm going to get these out. <clears throat> And uh, I'm trying to think what I have to get out of the way. First of all, I uh, want to say really fast, uh, Kwai Rice is not well endowed. He's, uh, in fact, quite small in that area. Stall Life, in the meantime, I'll, I'll show you guys the map in a second. This is Monty Hall, if you haven't seen it. A uh, lot of arguments that Zerg is it's kind of unfair towards Zerg, and it's kind of a crapshoot at times. It uh, looks like Stall Life trying to bring these probes through going to do that little probe trick and it looks like he's going to yeah, go across the top lane. In the meantime it looks like uh, it looks like Rise is taking the bottom lane so this lane right here is the bottom lane for those who aren't aware uh, and he's opening up the bottom lane with his drones as well so i uh, going to open up the bottom lane here and take this as his initial secondary so 12 hatching into that uh, let's see what Stall Life's up to here on the top lane. Uh, I can't imagine that he's going to go for another Nexus up here. Uh, so maybe going for some Cheese Tech here, and considering he has the gas down, really, uh, he has the gas and Cybernetics core down, so we're going very quickly into an air build, uh, which is really uh, devastating on this map, because as you can see, it requires a lot of air. Each uh, choke, each lane is blocked off by a set of mineral patches, as you can see, and there are uh, other mineral patches up to the top left, uh, and the bottom left, I should say. Top right, bottom right. <clears throat> Gosh. Upper right hand corner, bottom left hand corner, there we go. Uh, and you, as you can see, each lane contains a set of minerals. Uh, there's only two mineral patches in the middle. Uh, and otherwise, I think I think that's covering it. I guess I'll show you each, give kind of a view by of each of the lanes, kind of scroll across. As you can see, not billable, not billable wasteland here, and then another expansion right here. And you got the expansions kind of nearby. So you got like three, four expansions near each base, and it's kind of mirrored around. Get a kind of good look at the minimap. We'll see what uh, we'll see what Star Life's up to here in the momentarily. In fact, is putting up that Stargate, and really, I'm surprised he's putting up that Stargate at a kind of a proxy location. Because by the time the Overlords make him do it his base anyway, uh, he could put them anywhere in his base. And those Corsairs would be out before they reach there. Uh, I really kind of feel that's one of the reasons that Monty Hall's kind of annoying. Uh, and, and really, he's kind of lucky that uh, Rise didn't decide to scout the top lane. As a result, he's going to be okay. It looks like he's got this probe in position. He's thinking about taking this Nexus. Uh, by the way, I have seen these games. Again, I did them live. Uh, but uh, So I know he doesn't, in fact, take the Nexus. But it kind of kind of moving. It doesn't he look like he's going to? Anyway, three, uh, three hatchery build here. I'm trying to make the same calls they did during the first game. I'll stop that now. Gas going down in the meantime for Ryze, so it looks like, uh, my guess is he's not getting speedlings, just thinking about getting higher level tech. He's got the three hatcheries out, uh, managed to catch that probe as it was sneaking through, used that that uh, drop pile on trick, so it looks like uh, Star Life is going to get a nice open view. In the meantime, producing Corsairs, uh, Ryze in the meantime seeing that the t basically the bottom lane, well actually not getting a very good look at the bottom lane, but the middle lane is essentially clear. Uh, uh, forge going down in the meantime looks like for Star Life, so probably, I'm, I'm going to assume that's for level 1 weapons. Uh, let's see if he starts getting, because uh, really he doesn't need cannons at this point. He can put down 
uh, some things and cannons otherwise around his base if he's really worried about it, but he, I don't think he really needs to worry about a rush, because again, you don't have to worry about a rush until these mineral lines are broken. It looks like a couple zerglings out uh, just to deny that scout. It looks like that probe wasn't ta was taken care of in, in front of Ryze's base. I'm surprised that Ryze actually hasn't already uh, upgraded. There he's upgrading to Lair right now. Unfortunately, it's a little late. As you can see, this Corsair is already loose, and this is a big advantage for Stahl Life early, because uh, as you can see, there's nothing, nothing close uh, to really being able to stop uh, these overlords from <laughs> being uh, com they're completely at the mercy here uh, it looks like an overlord gonna see that probe kind of wandering up towards the second corsair is loose and yeah these overlords are completely uh, at the whim and mercy we'll see Hydralis Den as well as an evolution chamber going down for Rise. Looks like he's canceling a Hydralis Den, realizes he really needs to get Mutalisks up in the air. Uh, so one Overlord down, and this is really, oh, this is this hurts for Rise. Uh, looks like he's getting a, uh, trying to get a Sutton Colony down, blocked by his larva there. Uh, and yeah, just these two Corsairs you can see having a fun time going to town. In the meantime, Stahl Life getting a pylon down here at the, what is this, the southern... Uh, this isn't exactly 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock position. Uh, and yeah, all his overlords are com basically, as you can see, he's already at 25 out of 19 as far as the supply cap. Pylon going down to the north, so he's thinking about kind of creating cannon blockade there. Maybe he's still taking more Corsairs being pumped. Uh, single Dragoon out, and it looks like he is thinking about expanding, taking another Nexus. Uh, bringing the Corsairs back, looks like he's going to go after this overlord here. Rise, as you can see, trying to run it away, uh, trying to hide it, but isn't going to be able to. So losing more overlords back and forth, more corsairs continuing being pumped. Doesn't look like he's going with level one up, uh, weapons upgrade. Uh, is getting a templar archive, so going to go with some some dark templar here in a minute. Uh, getting his second expansion up. In the meantime, Rai is expanding the bottom, uh, the 6 o'clock location. Looks like the Corsairs stopped being produced for the moment, but going to try to keep things on his terms. Uh, my guess is we'll see in a minute, he'll probably try to open up this lane, try to flood some troops to uh, Canna going down to the north lane, or I'm sorry, the top lane, just to make sure uh, that it's blockaded. And it looks like, in the meantime, Rise has uh, stopped bleeding overlords momentarily, although he lost, what was that, three, four overlords there? So big cost early, in the meantime, he's kind of losing the skies. Uh, and really, when you're Zerg, you can't start, it's hard to, it's hard against Corsairs to begin with, you don't really want to start uh, behind. Looks like a Spire going down for Rise in the meantime. Creep Colony going down so he doesn't get encroached on anymore by those cannons. Uh, and more Corsairs being produced, so Stahl Life really taking the air advantage early, uh, continuing to pump those Corsairs, continuing uh, to hunt down Overlords. We'll see if he, he'll take out any more Overlords at this location, but the two Spore Colonies uh, should do a good job of actually blockading them off. As you can see, yeah, he's going to bring them off almost... Uh, didn't almost lose actual uh, lose one actually, but uh, it was in a little bit of a threat there. Rise in the meantime looks like he's going to get this expansion now. Dark Templar waiting. Looks like uh, looks like Star Life was thinking about opening that bottom lane, but uh, has decided against it for whatever reason. Maybe he was trying to. It looks like he was trying to probe trick the Dark Templar through there for a moment. Uh, I don't know. Drop a pylon, sneak it through. Uh, interesting. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, as you can see, he's got a good grouping of Corsairs. Uh, still still has control of the top lane. Yeah, that uh, drone wandering through and, and dying. Ouch. Uh, in the meantime, at least the Spire's up, so we're going to see a couple Scourges being produced, and it's going to take a lot of Scourges to stop this Corsair Force, because it's almost at the uh, kind of the mass point where Scourges really aren't going to affect it unless you're getting a whole buttload worth of Scourges. In the meantime, the secondary for Stahl Life is up and running. Looks like he's getting a second gas down. Uh, putting down, he's already got the two gateways, now going for the level 1 weapons already has, you know, that single deck Dark Templar, not really doing anything with it. Looks like a creep colony going down the 6 o'clock position, really, if you can get an Overlord here as well, uh, that'll be a little more defensible. Uh, Scourge going out, but really, yeah, it looks like two more, as you can see, they're just getting hunted down by this Corsair front. Uh, four score, yeah, trying to run away. Get away, get away. Doesn't want to end up losing a uh, uh, precious Scourge. More uh, Corsairs being produced here. And really, Stahl Life will be okay as long as he keeps this Corsair force together. Looks like he's thinking about expanding once more here. Uh, a little more of it, yeah, a couple of Scourges getting hit, and just a buttload of Scourges, as you can see, I think Ryze realized the situation, I need to retake the air, because this map is so, it's just really air-based, so let me go ahead and just produce a buttload of Scourge and try to try to win it that way. Uh, looks like he's, interesting, <laughs> got that uh, drone, he, he moved some drones over, I don't think he realized he has that Zergling block in there, so those four drones, a little bit in limbo, getting level 1 Carapace before he's even thinking about uh, producing any sort of uh, Mutalisks. Uh, Scourge Force moving out, looks like they want to try to pick something off. These Corsairs are going to see the 6 o'clock location, but uh, looks like that uh, Spore Colony is, is up just in time, so that Arc Templar isn't going to be effective. Another cannon going down the, the, the bottom lane here. Uh, but in the meantime, Stahl Life really taking a big economic advantage here. As you can see, he's already got the
got the two expansions up and now is going for a third and he's pretty much going to get that third one up mostly unharassed i worry about this gateway right here because that's uh, easy to harass it looks like a couple mulisks out uh there's a lot of map to cover here, and as you can see, those Corsairs, well, yeah, they've got a lot of kills. Uh, <laughs> a big group of Corsairs, very formidable. Uh, the Mutalisks can get... Oh, man, that's a big grouping of Scourge here, though. So we're going to see a big fight uh, between the two, and it's really going to come down to is who sees uh, who first and whether this, this lone Corsair in the corner uh, can stay grouped and who can react. I guess that's a huge huge amount of scourges that's almost uh, I think that's half a control group of scourge right there if not a full control group along with a lot of mutalisks uh, so Rai is really dedicating the air really wants to take the air game fortunately gonna catch a couple of scourges might be able to get one or two corsairs here um, looks like he managed to get one and, and land another hit uh, in the meantime yeah as you can see just large groups of corsairs they just absolutely dominate the air uh, mutalisks are gonna have to be run back they're gonna have, uh, very wisely splitting his forces there as you can see uh, to kind of minimize the damage and get them back over that spore line so Star Life is going to retreat a little bit, but Star Life uh, doesn't look like it's producing any more Corsairs. Really doesn't need to. Engaging a little bit uh, carelessly in, in, into the spore line, managed to take out a Mutalisk, but at the cost of a Corsair, and uh, the, I'm surprised by that. But in the meantime, still really controls the match. Uh, is doing a really good job otherwise. Let's see what's going on for, yeah, just Mutalisk being pumped out kind of here. Uh, and it looks like at the 6 o'clock location we still have this going on. We'll see if uh, if he decides to push up on any territory at the moment. Uh, this base completely operational. Looks like another large grouping of Mutalisks out with a couple uh, Scourges. And really, if he's going to...